Okay. If you are ready, we we can start. So, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome to my session, DevOps is Dead. My name is Roberto Peruzzo. I'm a software developer um, and co-founder of Studio Aqua. Studio Aqua is a um, digital studio in uh, Castelfranco, Veneto, the north near Venice, uh, the northeast of Italy. Uh, our mission is to um, uh, to build a successful uh, web project in Drupal. Uh, to do this, we merge our um, software engineering skills uh, with uh, um, web marketing and uh, uh, user experience concepts. So first of all, I want to thank all these sponsors because they've made this event possible. So thank you very much indeed. And uh, today I will talk about DevOps. And why I would talk about this? Because I think uh, something is going to change in the software uh, delivery process. And uh, the DevOps, as we know, uh, is dead. And why? Because there is some, um, some managed services like platform .sh, that helps you to save time in your delivery and save money. And you are focused on your core business. So in my studio, in my agency, the core business is to do web project, not to um, care about uh, system and uh, care about uh, um, deployment processes. So uh, today, in my, my I've organized my session in four parts. Yes, uh, uh, I would like to begin by understanding what DevOps, uh, why DevOps was born. Then uh, I'd like to share with you. Some, how the delivery process uh, has evolved in Studio Aqua. Uh, then I, I would like to sh uh, show you some result that we obtain, we have obtained using platform.sh. And uh, finally, we'll have uh, about 10 minutes, uh, as well, <laughs> I hope, uh, for your questions. So let's go. Uh, I want to begin by defining uh, what the DevOps is. Well, as you might know, uh, DevOps is a um, uh, is, um, practice, a collaboration between uh, software developer and IT operators to automate the delivery. And why we want to automate the delivery of software? Because we don't want our web project to fail. Well, uh, let, me, uh, let me give you an example to explain, to better explain this concept. Well, imagine that you, uh, your customer uh, asks you an e-commerce website because he wants to sell his products all over the Europe. And so and you, uh, you propose a um, turnkey project uh, and you estimate about five, uh, six, six months to go online. So you deliver all the features, all the project in one shot at the end. So do you see something wrong in this approach? What? Yeah. Yes, yes. If, if, as a matter of fact, the problem is uh, the delivery takes too much time. And so it takes too much time and you de deliver all the things at the end. So uh, why it is a problem, this approach? Because you give to your customer the time to forget everything about his projects. Uh, he forgets the goals, uh, the, the requirements, uh, what he planned. And so, uh, and maybe 
uh, ask for something new because he, he forgets uh, and uh, maybe uh, ask you, uh, I, I want another feature there, uh, you uh, during the development and so you, oh my god, well I have to throw away all I have already done and I have to re-implement something. So, and you, what's, what's happened? And you have to postpone your delivery. And this, this is a mess because you fall down in a um, vicious circle because you postpone the delivery, your customer doesn't see anything, uh, your customer can, uh, doesn't sell any, pro pro uh, any products, and so uh, it is disappointed and maybe he wants to pay you. So the, your customer don't earn money and you lose money because he don't want to pay you. So when you launch, uh, if, you, um, if your process uh, for launching a project is too slow, uh, yeah, the project fails and nobody earns money. So this is the problem. So for me, uh, project su uh, succeed when uh, your customer obviously, obviously is satisfied, uh, when you are happy, <laughs> and you both earn money. This is the key. And this is why um, there is a, a widespread adoption of agile development and continuous uh, deployment in these ages. So, to sum up, DevOps was invented to automate the delivery because the agile development and continuous uh, deployment practices helps, helps you to build a successful project. So, now I want to tell uh, tell you uh, about uh, my experience in Studio Aqua. Well, first of all, <laughs> I want to I, I put this <laughs> this funny this funny slide because some uh, a few a few weeks ago uh, somebody tells me that you can do agile development and uh, continuous. Um, deployment, uh, working in your production, <laughs> in your production environment. So it's, it's bullshit. Yeah. Don't, don't do this because you lose the control of your project and you lose money. Don't do it. So for me to be agile, uh, to be agile, you need a fast environment set up, use production data, Oh, sorry, the S, no, I, these are an error. Uh, production data in your test, because you, you can do a foolproof deployment and uh, make your deployment predictable. So in Studio Aqua, to do this, uh, we, in the beginning, we start to um, implement our own tools, our, our own scripts. But in the, yes, in the beginning, everything is fine. But suddenly, uh, sad, suddenly, I realized that there is a problem because we have to take care about our scripts, our tools, and we uh, spend time to do this thing, to, to, to sorry, to look after and to make this activity, so the environment creation, backups, uh, restore procedure, uh, synchronize uh, files and, and, uh, and data between environments. And so uh, this is an expensive activity for us because we are, not, no, we are no more in focus on our core business. We, uh, we spend a lot of time uh, to update our um, our tools uh, and, and our procedures. 
So the maintenance, the maintenance is a cost and there is a, an expensive cost for us. And yes, DevOps uh, become the cost center of our cost center. So it's not a good, it's not a good choice. So we start to uh, look for something new, to, for, uh, for something uh, that helps that helps, uh, helps us to uh, solve this problem. And we found platform.sh. Platform.sh is, um, uh, is a new generation uh, of cloud hosting because he gives you, gives you uh, the possibility to host your project uh, with high availability and uh, scalability infrastructure. Uh, but the, the important thing is he helps you to do a foolproof deployment because you can create, um, you can create environments that, is, uh, that are um, a copy, a byte per byte copy of your pr uh, production environment. So let's see, this is the web interface and here you have all you need because uh, you can, uh, here you, you can create on the fly the environments and here on the left we have the list of your environments and you can uh, uh, manage this hierarchy as you want, so it's up to you, it's up to your uh, development process. Then you can merge this, this, uh, um, this environment, you can synchronize data, f files and code between all these environments and then you can do a snapshot of of every single environment. So you have all you need to do an agile uh, development and to uh, do a continuous uh, deployment. You can do the same things with a, a command line interface. So you can create, delete, uh, you can merge everything. And platform.sh uh, integrate Git, the the Git, with uh, um, every single environment. So you manage every single environment with a Git command. When you uh, when you write on your shell, uh, Git push. Okay, the platform rebuilt everything, and you put your uh, your project on the environment. You can also um, you can also de uh, define, uh, um, for example, uh, if you have to compile some less or some uh, SAS uh, files, uh, you can uh, put your um, configuration inside the platform, and when you uh, the platform build your project, make all these things, may compile the files, uh, um, I don't know, uh, launch, composer, install, something like this. So you can control your entire project. So to sum up, well, uh, we have a, the problem is uh, uh, that maintain our own tools uh, is an expensive cost. So platform uh, replace our dev uh, DevOps team because I don't have to, uh, I don't have to care about the uh, deployment process because he, it does all I need. And I can to focus on my core business. So that's it. That's the solution. Okay. Now uh, I, I take some 
some, I, I gather some data I collect in my project and, uh, and I, I want to show you. Uh, well, I, I use two projects, one project without uh, uh, platform message and one project uh, where we are using uh, platform.sh. So we start with the project without platform.sh. is not uh, readable, <laughs> this, uh, this slide, but I, I, I introduce you. So, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, here we have the delivery date on, on this column. And here on the bottom, we have the, um, the time we have spent to deliver something. So, and I split in two parts the, uh, every delivery. So the blue part is the deployment time, uh, sorry, the development time, and the purple part is uh, the deployment time. So as you can see, uh, the deployment part is, is, uh, is unpredictable. So some, uh, sometimes we have a long time, sometimes we have a short time, and I don't know when this can happen. So uh, this is a problem because uh, I risk to, um, to postpone my delivery because I have a problem so uh, I can uh, find a problem that I can't solve and then the, 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 deploy, the deployment, the, the delivery is uh, um, become, uh, well, f it's fail. It's so, uh, another thing, uh, we have a delivery, it's not, it's not so readable, but every delivery is uh, one per month. So it's uh, a little bit, a little bit um, uh, is not so frequent, so it's difficult to be agile with one only one uh, delivery per month. So let's take a look to the. Okay, this is the summary. So I deli uh, the delivery we have one delivery per month. Uh, the de uh, development time is more or less ten hour and the deployment time, more or less, it's about one hour in this case. Let's see the other case. This is um, uh, a project with platform.sh, and so we have something, uh, something better because the, the deployment time is more or less the same in every delivery. Uh, so it became predictable for us. And then we have another thing. Uh, we can uh, do, we can do uh, delivery, uh, multiple, multiple delivery in one day, in one day. It's not so readable, but it is two or three in one day. So in this, in this uh, example, we are Agile, we are so, so we are more agile than before. As a matter of fact, we have multiple delivery per day. We have a deployment time, an average development time uh, of three hours, and the, the, the deployment time is five minutes. So it's a, it's a, it's a good it's a, a good goal. This. So, using platform.sh, we have increased the delivery frequency and the deployment become predictable. So, we have reached our goals, so we can be agile and we can be predictable in our delivery. So, uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm arrived at the end, so I, I do <laughs> my presentation as, uh, <laughs> as fast as possible. Okay, 
so we have time to talk about this. And uh, I don't know if uh, uh, platform.sh has all the answer of your uh, delivery problem. But in my, in my uh, experience, uh, um, I, f I, uh, I get that uh, platform.sh helps me to save time and to save money in my uh, delivery, in software delivery process. And uh, my customer can earn money because they go uh, to market uh, quickly with their project. And so that is what uh, I found with this tool. So thank you very much. Uh, and uh, now it's time to, I'm sorry, I call uh, here Nick that have to make uh, uh, an announce uh, something good, no? Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, I'm serious. There's a lot of room for sessions. It's good for your career as well. If you want to grow in a certain DevOps role or in a certain team tool role, that's basically what it is. So that's a great thing. Okay. Thank you. So, okay, if you have any questions about, yes? Okay, okay. You uh, you say uh, what what kind of tests we make uh, during the deployment, and so well uh, we do, we we don't have an uh, automated system to uh, to do tests in our environments. So our tests here are. Um, are uh, uh, is a, a, a scheduled activity we we have to do and we do we do it manually. So we have to test something. We do it manually uh, on our uh, yes on our staging or testing environments. So the the important things of um, so I I, to, I I turn back. No, I'm sorry. I turn back to these uh, slides, so I can. Okay, uh, there in in this in the, in the on the on the left, we have we have all our uh, environments. So we develop something new. Well, in this case, we have uh, to solve a bug. Uh, so we solve a bug, then we go, we push our uh, de de developer up on the uh, on the other um, on the other environments, and then here we make the tests. And the test in the other environments uh, is made with the production data because we can. Uh, synchronize the master, the master environment with the other 
downstairs. So, <laughs> okay, do you understand? So, more or less. I know if you uh, have uh, some. I uh, know, yeah, something. Uh, I see automatic test, but we do, doesn't use but this type. Yeah. So on every GIP push, there's automatic tests are automatically announced. Yeah. Yes, I never, I never tested these, these uh, features, but it's uh, it's possible to integrate this kind of uh, because our studio is um, uh, a small uh, Drupal shop, so we uh, our um, project is not so big to uh, there is no so budget to uh, make uh, this kind of things, this uh, this automatic test in our project, but. It's uh, you can do, you can do it, you can integrate your system in this uh, in this platform because is uh, is really um, uh, modular. Yes. Execute uh, 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 For example, mm -hmm. feature reverse hold. Re yes. Uh, re just uh, speaking. Yes. Uh, set, no? no. Okay. Okay. How you manage the, the feature uh, module? No, you can uh, to do uh, uh, what you are saying. Uh, I I make a snapshot of. Uh, the uh, the environment before I do everything. So I do something. If something going wrong is going wrong, I I uh, restore the the snapshot, and so I come back to the previous version of this. You can do this. I'm always do this and. Uh, this ta uh, this kind of um, of activity is uh, it's really uh, fast because you can rebuild and create uh, um, uh, an environment in in one two minutes. So. Yeah. Okay. 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 No. No. Okay. No. No. The no. The the platform do it for you. Yes. When you go up, so you push your features uh, up to the masters. When you rebuild, when the platform re rebuild uh, the environment, he apply your features, your new features. I have. Uh, the features in, in, in Drupal 7 is a, a, a little bit tricky sometimes because I, yeah, a little bit, yeah, yes, because uh, something, um, uh, something, uh, sometimes something is doesn't, uh, yes, I have to manually revert uh, the blocks and, uh, well, uh, usually the, the, usually the, uh, the views go up uh, without a problem. Uh, uh, so views and uh, uh, and uh, content type and entities. When you make some uh, or uh, the the variables. So when you uh, modify something like this, uh, go up uh, go up uh, without a problem. But uh, sometimes with the blocks. We uh, panels of uh, something is that is a, a little bit tricky on Drupal. Uh, is uh, is not so uh, is not uh, so so fine, but you have yes uh, you have uh, you haven't the full control of the features, but. You can uh, avoid something because you you know that something uh, is good, so you reduce the problem. In, in, as a matter of fact, uh, in my chart, uh, the deployment time is not 
every time the same. You know, some, sometimes uh, it's a little bit long, uh, sometimes a little bit uh, is, um, short. But because sometimes these things happen and you have to manually uh, reverse something. But, okay. okay. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, in my job, I make APIs, which is what I play in stuff, not programming. Um, what we do is for every commit to master, it goes to Travis, it builds all the artifacts, it offers it as a release, it mm -hmm. gets up, Jenkins gets triggered, it spins up the whole environment in Amazon, it deploys that release, it runs the tests, it kills the genesis, and it gives us the email, it's go. Yeah, so that you see that this, this kind of workflow is a, a Yes, well, in, uh, yes. Uh, yes, because, yes, because the platform uh, give you, gives you a, reposit a Git repository, so you can do the same things. The same thing you you do with GitHub, you can do in this case. And when you you can um, go, uh, you uh, when you push something or when you check out something because you, you you want to rewind some files, you can use Git. And uh, every time you uh, launch uh, a Git uh, command, the environment uh, rebuild itself. Uh, well, this, <laughs> this, uh, well, I, I'm not here to sell anything, <laughs> but okay, this, um, uh, the, the base, the base platform uh, gives you three uh, environments and uh, no, um, and the cost uh, about uh, 10 euros a month per month, yes. Per month, ten euros per month. So if you uh, need something more, uh, the cost uh, is a little bit higher, um, forty euros per month. Three environments for this uh, uh, dev staging project or three sites? No, no, th uh, one site and three environments. Uh, uh, project is uh, is the one ah, another th another thing you have here i don't have the, a slide to show you uh, you can manage the, uh, the the development team so you can uh, manage the access to a, uh, um, uh, an environment to a, a particular user and uh, this particular user can contribute can uh, modify something uh, or can only uh, read, <laughs> so we have the read permission, so he can only view the the, the environments, but he can he can't uh, do anything. So you can manage uh, your team, your development team as well. So. Any question? Any other? So, if uh, there is uh, other question, thank you very much to, <laughs> to be here. Thank you.